This is your first year at the Davos Conference at the World Economic Forum. Yep. Why did you come this year? We came because we have a very strong message. We think that the boards generally need to sharpen up. We think the boards need to be more on the ball when it comes to the climate. And we will increasingly vote against boards which don't have a particularly uh, you know, credible uh, plan for, uh, for reductions. We are vocal on executive pay. We think in particular in the US, the corporate greed has just gone too far. And um, we are also very strong on, on increased diversity at board levels. That's the main message we have this year. How receptive are people to that message, particularly on executive pay at Davos? Uh, well, very much so. I do think uh, companies really listen. We had some against votes last year, and following which the companies want to you know, have a, a deeper conversation with us, and we are seeing some effects in terms of different packages this year. A lot of people are talking vocally about the importance of leaning into ESG and continuing to, be, uh, to put an emphasis on it, and yet behind closed doors people are investing that much more in fossil fuels. You have even Germany investing in coal once again in order to try to fortify the nation ahead of potentially a disruption in the energy system. Do you get any more pushback? back now than perhaps a year ago? Well, there are a couple of things there. So what we're seeing with in the energy market now is that in the short term, there is uh, it's bad news for the climate because there is more coal production and so on. But longer term, I do think that the crisis we're seeing now will accelerate the move into a renewable infrastructure uh, and renewable energy. So I do think longer term there is a there is a positive development. Now then you have the whole thing about backlash against ESG and we think it's really really seriously bad. You know, we do we think that ESG that is just not politics. It's common sense. And taken to the extreme in an an inhabitable world, the value of our fund is zero, right? So it's clear that climate is important for financial assets.